Hi everybody, this is Nick at Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we're going to take a registered project, or at least this portion of the project, and we're going to practice uh, cleaning some things up in both 2D and 3D. Uh, as you can see, we've got all of our scans inside of this building, and we've got uh, some, uh, some overspray here, maybe through windows and doorways, and uh, it's not something that we need uh, for this particular project. So what we're going to do is just first clean this up in 3D, which is going to involve uh, our polygon selector. And we will just run this close along the sides of the building here. Double click to close it. Now we're going to right click and we can either delete inside or outside of the selection. Uh, this is something that sounds really simple, but when you go through and start doing a lot of uh, cleaning on projects, uh, you can very easily just fat finger this and, uh, and hit the wrong one. Uh, if that happens, just close the project out and don't save it. Uh, we're going to delete outside the selection, obviously. Now we can take a quick look in 3D at uh, what our project looks like top to bottom. Doesn't look like anything else needs to be eliminated in the 3D view. Now we've jumped into a quick view of one of our scans. And as we can see, we have uh, quite a bit of personnel traffic in it. Um, we're going to uh, see how much of this we can get out and just how easy we can get it out of, the, of this scan. So in order to do this, we are going to use this way a rectangular selection. We'll just highlight where we've got the uh, the traffic issues and then we're going to right click in for a 3d view now we drop a center point and start to rotate this there are going to be some that are easy to get rid of and some that are not we right click go to our visibility settings We've got a number of options, but what we would probably need to use the most is a, uh, a different view. As, as we can see, it's a little bit difficult to move around in. So if we go into our old user interface, and then we right click, we can change our camera to orthographic. And then we don't get the distortion as we move away from the, uh, uh, the 3D scan. Just a preference that I have. Uh, we can go back in, grab our polygon selector, and begin to remove some of the more easy uh, traffic issues. As we keep rotating, there will generally be a an angle that works for just about every one of these. Don't go too close to the bottom because what looks like just touching the floor, you could be deleting a huge section of the floor. So you're better off leaving just maybe the top of people's boots than to try to go too deep to get uh, absolutely everything out of, uh, out of the scan. It just takes a little bit of time, but generally it really isn't a problem getting rid of people in the scan unless they spend a lot of time between the scanner and uh, what it is that you're uh, trying to capture. And that's a matter of just you know, controlling the project set as you're doing the scanning. But uh, don't ever uh, get too concerned if you're in a situation where people have to work uh, in your project area as you're scanning. As long as they continue to move, uh, you can usually capture everything that you need to uh, and, and not have to put everybody else out. Uh, 
And there we go. I hope this helps on a project that you guys have got. Um, if there's anything that you have anything specific that you'd like us to discuss, go ahead and email us at info at Thank you.